activate circular. And I'm like, huh? So is it to the point to where we start asking our friends what deck they're on so that way we can lie to them on the Friday so that way when we reach top cut, they tell all their friends that you're on a different deck. Or especially back in Cash Tira format, because back in Cash Tira, I would have made him go first. I would have made him go first if I won the Rock Paper Scissors shoot, and I would have looked so dumb. But I would have done it. I would have done it. But I felt like that because I thought about that after the tournament. I was like, I was like, I don't care that much. But I was like, is this the point to where we're at? I was like, are we lying to our friends on the Friday of the event after we ask them what deck they're on? Like, if I asked what deck he was on and he lied to me, sure. But, I feel like it's so crazy. Oh, they search Preventer, they only have Hydrant. This is not what you want to open. Uh, obviously not having a way to Turbulence. I see Ash, Imperm, Ash, Econ. Hey, Econ, their favorite card. Uh, link off in the SP. Preventer effects, summon out Hydrant. Okay. And then we can go set two. Pass. Or do they set one? Did you just say pass? Oh, that's... F ah. Ah. Uh. Clifton plays left-handed? I didn't even know that. That's crazy. But okay. Um... Imperm technically is live because we can banish both our own monsters, which I think... Okay, okay, that's what Steven knows we're gonna do, right? Okay, it makes sense. The more I think about it, because we want to banish our own SP. So we're gonna go SP banish itself plus Hydrant. And the reason we're doing this is because it makes Imperm live. It gives us follow-up. Guaranteed follow-up. Guaranteed follow-up. Or at least attempt follow-up. But you know what I mean? Uh, they're going to go pretty, discard Pearl Lily, bring out Pearly. See, I'm, I'm fans of both of these players. Fans of them. I like both of them. For sure. But I can't lie. St uh, Clifton is in Stud's group chat. So if I had to vote for one, I would vote for Clifton. But his Pearly is obviously voting for Steven here. Because it just missed and whiffed. Nice. Normal out per No. Clifton's hand is all... It's it's pearly, yeep, impermanib. All we have is rank one into Zeus. Which is actually pretty broken here. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually pretty broken. Because Zeus will get to wipe at end phase when they bring back SP Hydra. And Steven doesn't have anything. Doesn't even have a rescue... Or has one rescue ace card in the graveyard. Doesn't have two though. So... It's not that good with Imperm, isn't it? No way we're voting for a fake American. Huh? Steven? Oh, uh, I don't think he would say he's an American. He'd probably say he's Canadian. But they're like the same thing. Potato, potato, to be honest. But go up in the Slacker. They're reading over Slacker. Just to make sure they know exactly what it does. Which is fair. You don't want to mess up. And then attack for 200. It's just the Zeus pilot here. And then, yep, they're telling him about pretty memory. They gotta gain the life points. So now they're at 88. And then they can go downer Zeus. They don't have to go downer, it does play in the nib. And they might think that the opponent has nib because of what little they did turn one. But nope, they're gonna go downer Zeus, which I respect because you have to wipe at end phase and you wanna have an interruption for the opponent's turn. Wait. Nah, Clifton messed up. I swear, that had to have been a mistake. Why did we set Imperm? Did we set Imperm? We might have set Pearly Yeep. So that way we can put back Per Lily if we only play two Per Lily. Okay, okay. But we're letting this go. I feel like this is just not right. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. I don't like this line. Okay, go search out Turbulence. I think it just had to have been a misplay. I'm gonna be honest. I think it just had to have been a misplay, and then we set Imperm, and then we're full committed into it. Which hurts. 
It hurts, I'm not gonna lie. Econ Tribute, try to take Zeus. And then it's like... Chain Zeus. Chain SP. Chain Zeus. Oh. I'm so confused. Clifton's plays aren't making sense to me. I mean, sure. Okay, okay. I'm trying to try. I'm trying to get the thought process here. No, it it, it is imperm set. Oh no, yeah. Clifton made a mistake. He made a ooh ooh, ouch ouch, boo boo, no no. He should have just wiped that end phase with the Zeus. The SP had already used its effect that turn. We would have also wiped Hydrant, and then we would have had Zeus wipe plus Nib in hand versus the world. But instead, now we are. I don't. I don't I like. Like, the Econ is what did it there, but, like, Hydrant searching, and then SP on field still is, like, really good. Like, it's still really, really good there. Like, it almost breaks the board by itself. I almost feel like it's not correct. And then, like, you know, if there is anything else, like, any uh, any other, like, non-engine spell-wise to, like, break, like, quote-unquote break boards, I feel like then you for sure just break the board there. But they did have Econ. Um, it's not the one that you're probably expecting the most. But, okay, they have Ash. Switch Zeus to attack. How is it possible for Steven not to brick? Um, well, Steven did brick this game. I wouldn't say he drew a good hand. I wouldn't say Hydrant is like a true starter. I would say Airlifter is a starter. I wouldn't say Hydrant is a true starter, though. It's like a half starter. Okay, now they're gonna link off the Zeus and Turbulence. Go up in the IP Mascarena. And then summon out Preventer by banishing Turbulence. Okay. And then we are going to end domain pass turn. Yeah, Clifton's lost this one. There's too many purples. They can't draw field spell and something else. Oh, but they can draw desires. Ah, no, okay. <laughs> okay, it, it was worth a shot, it was worth a shot. Imagine they drew desires though. Nah, okay. So, in my opinion, I don't think Clifton played that game one the cleanest, but guess what? It doesn't matter. You know why? Because game two, game two. Misplays, not here. They're gone. Where are they? Back in game one. Game two, we're playing perfect. Pitch perfect turn one, baby. And then Steven Santoli not drawing a single out to our Trap Noir. Yep, Lava Golem in the side. Obviously not siding that in. They're taking Drolls out. I'm trying to see what else they're trying to take out. Um, Okay, they're putting... It might just be put some in them and then take Droll out. I was going to say, there, there might actually just be nothing else. The rest of the non-engines look pretty good against Rescue Ace. Okay. Also, this sweatshirt's fire. I'm not gonna lie. This sweatshirt's nice. Uh, so through so hard insane. Minus three draw, plus three summon limit. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Summon limit is not an absolute FTK though versus Rescue Ace. Not all the time. A lot of the time, it's really good. But, you know, if you misplay with it, the, the opponent might be able to like chain emergency, summon turbulence, or something like that. Also, look at that. I respect that so much. Both players, they grab the deck and when they pick it up, they look the opposite way. God, yes. God, yes. Obviously, looking down would not be good, but... <laughs> my first YCS, my opponent offered me $20 to scoop. That's fair. That's fair. I once had an opponent offer me... I think it was a Ghost, an Ulti, and a Secret Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. Like, one of each rarity to give him the win. The last round of a regional. When he would not have got his invite anyways if he won. <laughs> one time I had that happen. I literally sat down the very last round just to give the opponent a win, 
just because I was like, who's ever at this table is going to need it. And I sit down and they're like, I'll give you all this stuff for the win. And I was like, no, no, don't give me this stuff. I'm giving you the win. He's like, nah, bro, nah, let me give you the stuff. And I was like, stop, bro, just take the win. Imperm the pearly. They have another imperm and Valor. Clifton has summon limit. Oh, they have street. Oh, does Clifton have a quick play spell? Please, 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 please. No, it's Book of Eclipse. No. Set to pass. We didn't. Oh, ah, ah, maybe we were supposed to chain Eclipse there. I feel like we were so Pass turn. Oh, my God. Oh, also, Steven Santoli has Spellbound in hand. Does play Spellbound. Normal out per Lily effect. Chain Imperm on it. Shut it down. Chain Book of Eclipse. Yeah. That's fine. You can't chain Valor. If you chain Valor, it's, it's the biggest waste of a Valor ever. Because it'll still resolve. Because Sudden Cards is weird. It'll make it forget it completely. Winnable. This is wild. He only has Headquarters. Activate my friend Pearly. And then my friend Pearly, pay 500. Oh, thank gosh. Let's go. Let's go, Clifton. The win condition. Opponent drawing nothing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And guess what? I don't care if this turn's messed up. I don't care if anything bad happens this turn. We're not ending the game this turn. But guess what? Steven Santoli is not drawing a playable card next turn. Also, I'm sorry, Steven, if you hear this. I'm still your friend, but I got to root for Clifton here. Commentary bias, yes, a hundred percent. Okay, so they're gonna grab happy memory. Yeah, that's fair. Happy memory is very good. It gets to protect your back row. It gets to, more importantly, get the happiness low. And once once you get the happiness, like it, it feels so good. So. They're going to go Pearly Effect, upgrade in the Happiness Slayer. Doesn't activate Field Spell before we try doing this, though. Which I guess if we get hit with Valor on Happiness, I mean, you can't even be that mad. Yeah, I was going to say, you can't even be that mad at the Valor Happiness. It's like, okay, sure. But. Hmm. Okay. I guess you don't want to do that, though, because then what if they Valor your Pearly? Then you have to, like, commit a discard. Okay, so they're gonna happiness, grab the trap, activate field spell. They're asking where it goes. <laughs> I feel that one. I literally put my field spell right in the middle. I go, boom, slap it right on top of the field center. And then they're gonna go end phase, field spell, attach sleepy. Okay. And then pass turn. Uh, once I took my little sister to a game with the lowest rarity zombie sworn, she ended up getting all TJD and a few other max rarity cards for free for her number. She gave them my number. <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. That is tough. Also, giving up cards. Oh god, no. We were never doing that. Nah, we always Zeus at the end phase there. Um... Nah, Clifton had the right idea to wait for Steven to commit resources. Zeus wipe, Steven chains Little Knight, Clifton chains Imperm, still has second Zeus after first wipe. Econ just bodies that line. But, okay, okay, okay. So, let's put it out this way, right? So you're saying you want to use both Zeus wipes and Imperm versus... Because what's going to happen, right? Is it go? They went Hydrant effect, search Turbulence, right? They said okay. Okay. I don't, what, commit, you don't have to commit resources though, that's the thing. Uh, you don't have to commit anything. They go, link SP plus Hydra in the SP, SP effect, banish Zeus, they go chain Zeus effect to wipe, they go chain SP effect to dodge, they go chain Imperm, they say, okay, and then now they go summon Turbulence by banishing Hydra plus Preventer. And now Clifton has to Zeus wipe there. So Clifton's Zeus and Imperm have now traded with just the Hydrant and SP that came back at end phase. Nothing else. So Clifton could have Zeus wiped 
and then they would have had an extra if they, they if they zoo swipe the end phase they would have had an extra zoo swipe and they would have had imperm in hand and then I, and then we would have also kept pearly yeep in hand and if we draw a pearly spell that's the freest discard that's the freest discard unless we only play two per lily then we just then we set traps that way we zoo swipe it and then we hold nib in hand and we discard nib slash imperm off of the pearly spell i think that's the way that it should have been done i think it should have done a tiny bit different but it's fine it's fine because now we're moving on to game three um like i said clifton you know the misplays they're gone we're on the game three now and we're gonna see steven santoli go first steven's drawn really poor this match so far game one poor hand game two poor hand game three <laughs> About to be a good hand. Also, I'm going to turn off the AC because now my toes are cold. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Top 16. Game number three. No shot, right? <laughs> no shot, right? No shot, right? Ah, they're going to grab Preventer. Preventer, Hydrant, Turbulence. They have Impulse in hand. I see that. If they have Turbulence in hand, then this is fine. This definitely works. Make Link Karibo. Summon Preventer. Banish. Bring out. Okay. Link off in the SP. Preventer, summon out Hydrant. Set Contain. Oh, it's not it's this droll. It's not turbulence. Yeah, you can Clifton bricked. Clifton bricked. What? Clifton bricked this game? There's no shot. There's actually no shot. Clifton bricked this game. I swear he did. I swear. Unless what? Come on, come on. Show the hand a little bit more clearly. I swear it's a brick. Set one back row, pass turn. How is this match this bad? <laughs> this match sucks. This was just, this is like the most like, you know, I mean, this is just a Yu-Gi-Oh match. Oh my gosh, Steven Santoli top deck emergency. Nah, the top deck emergency is sick. That is sick. That is not... That is foul. That is foul. That's the summon turbulence and set four from the deck. Well... I guess it won't get the set from deck. Most likely. Because on summon of that... Oh, they're thinking about sending from hand. Ah, they were thinking there. Okay, so now Clifton almost knows for a fact there's a rescue ace in hand. Um, they're going to go Turbulence to set. They said okay. Oh, okay. So they don't have Imperm set. I thought they were going to maybe Imperm Turbulence on Summon to try to stop it from setting four, but they don't have it set. They set Alert, Rescue, Emergency, Contain. So that means you know that they have Extinguish set. <clears throat> Was that not Eclipse set? Oh, uh, I have no idea. Because last game we said Eclipse. I don't, I don't even know. I don't know what the last card in their hand was. Yeah, because I can see their hand now. It's Street, Lightning Storm, Ash, Nib. Clifton has Lightning Storm, doesn't care he sets. Uh, yep. Yep. But, I don't know. I thought, like, maybe it was a set Imperm. They set it to try to beat the, uh, the set that was matched up with it. No, it's just Eclipse. Okay. Okay, okay, that's fine. You know, Banish Eclipse. I mean, it's not like that's a card that we need anyways. What we need is engine literally if we top deck a quick play spell here there's a chance that we win because we can lightning storm back row and all the interruptions that steven's gonna set up off of engine and sp is targeting interruptions but we know that steven has ash plus droll in hand so that is really what like makes it to where like it's just game because steven's not dumb right if clifton goes Activate field spell, activate quick play spell. 
And then Steven's gonna ash it. Okay, it's game. That's sad, but it's game. Yep. Yep. He draws with the contain interruptions. They're gonna go rescue, summon hydrant, activate alert, have the option to search from deck or the graveyard. It's just game. It's so sad, but it is what it is. Yeah. So what, uh, here you let them do as much as they want in hopes that on their next turn they misplay really bad and play in the nib. Like, play into it bad, bad. Like, auto-lose to it bad. Pearly no engine is crazy. True, like... Like, no engine at all. Not even a pearly to normal summon and lose to, like, the set contain. Or extinguish or anything. Like... Like, with just the Pearly spells, and Prosperity, and My Friend Pearly, and you draw a 6 card going second, the odds of you bricking is, like, unbelievably low. Like, unbelievably. Then they're gonna go grab Headquarters, and that doesn't even think, that doesn't even start to count the Pearly and Pearly. To be fair, if you didn't misplay Game 1, Quick 2-0. Well, I wouldn't say that. We don't, we don't know if Game 1 would have been a Quick 2-0. Or a quick, like, win or anything. But it definitely would have been a better game. They're gonna go banish, summon out Preventer. Yeah. They're just doing math now, trying to get to the game one. Uh, they're gonna link off. And then go into Protect Talker. Okay. Preventer effect to summon back out Turbulence. They're asking to read. Um, okay, so that's a thousand off from game from right there. And then the only thing we summoned this turn was... I guess Airlifter, Preventer, Protect Talker, and Turbulence. So just activate Headquarters. Headquarters effect to shuffle back and draw. And then we can get Turbulence effect to set from the deck after we put back our rescue our emergency and our alert so then we can go ahead and you know set rescue and alert or something like that and that's really good um you see no starters equal no win uh not always not always like game one steven saw no starters and he won so you know, just this match alone, we've shown that it's not true. Or game three. Game three. Steven drew no starters again. <laughs> we saw no turbulence turn one. Game one or game three from Steven when they went first. So it's proof that you don't need the full combo to win. Like, you don't have to. And now activate rescue, summon back out from the graveyard. We can activate it this turn because we have hydrant. Rescue to summon and go for game. No, that's so sad. Oh! Oh, they have Ash. They have Ash. Yeah, GG's. They bricked. That's so sad. Unfortunate. I mean, there's like... I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's unfortunate, right? <laughs> I don't know. Like... Yup, okay. Okay. So, that was it for the top 16. We're gonna see Steven Santoli win that one. You know, even though... God, I'm like friends of both of them. It just feels bad on both ends. That was just like not a 